most of my autumn paintings, but not all, hanging on the blue wall for Thanksgiving. None of these will be in the show. There's uh, Helmer Nature Center. That's the one uh, called Relics, because you've got the old mailbox, the old RG&E pole. That was inspired by an early autumn in Durand. There's a little poured abstract. Uh, this was inspired by Cobbs Hill. This by the animals, all those animals that died in Australia. That was before COVID. It's an abstract in a way. But there's a sarcophagus there. This is a must liner. That's nice. This is my... Um, for Marian, the, the glads. Actually, this is end of summer, but I like the color for the autumn. There's just a little one I did. There's a Phyllis Cummings. I bought this at the show. Oh, good 10 to 15 years ago. It's a little dollar store ribbon that I hung. And this is a card that I put in a frame. It goes with the season of gratitude. And this I bought at Roco for the fundraiser for Rock Madan for the Ukraine. It's a, a sculpture, looks like a milk bottle. The artist's name, where is it? Mm, Sue Miller. Sue Miller. I, it was something I saw and it stayed in my mind. And anyway, I stuck some sunflowers in it. That's an oldie. That's probably 50 years old, done by Jeannie Primo. I bought it for $3. I think it's called Two Paths. Something like that. It's a couple I haven't framed yet. That's a moss liner, an old moss liner. Oh, that's that's the one. Um, the original is by E.E. E. Cummings, and I restored it in my sister's name because she loved E.E. E. Cummings. It hangs at Brockport. State University. And it reminds me of my sister's running path. And here's another one I've just, I'm in the process of working on. It's a watercolor. All right, that's it for today. Happy Thanksgiving. Plus my, my uh, orangey color pillowcases, etc. Oh, yeah. There's one back in the corner. See, I don't have room for this one. Mom's the word. <laughs> Lots of paintings.